Welcome back everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Propane 1 million RP King of the Hill Championship. This is going to be episode 20 featuring the Peacock and Rage Monster by Macbeth. Uh, we've seen a few entries by Macbeth already. I believe he had the Wedge. Oh, and one other more recent entry that I forget the name of. The, oh yeah, the uh, Crimson Frolic and Friends. Um, also a recent entry. You can see that uh, back in episode 8. And uh, this entry here features, this is the Rage Monster. It's like a modified uh, Fury platform with some uh, custom turrets on here. You can see this turret. Uh, just a lot of uh, custom cannon parts. So imagine that does uh, quite a bit of damage, and then this top turret has um, a custom cannon, as well as some missile launchers built in, and then we see uh, even more custom cannons here on the side. Looks like uh, fast-firing anti-aircraft cannons, and then some uh, missile launchers, as well as more than likely torpedo and flare launchers. So this uh, little plane here, the Rage Monster, is uh, armed to the teeth, and uh, definitely means business. And uh, its partner in crime here, this is the uh, Peacock. And unfortunately, not really able to see much through the heavy shielding. Let's see if maybe we can uh, get a peek in build mode. Get an idea of what we're working with. So you can see under the uh, turrets we have some sloped armor and uh, is this a see the vehicle spawner and I'm not seeing seeing where the uh, weapons are <laughs> these shields are uh, totally opaque so uh, blocking out my prying eyes oh there we go I see a uh, cannon sticking out the front so it looks like a, uh, a large hole mounted uh, front facing cannon and then move down and then a uh, looks like torpedo rack down here below see some uh, propellers for turning and some hydrofoils there for maintaining elevation so it looks like this is uh more uh, tank oriented than the uh, Rage Monster. This is the uh, Peacock and uh, has a large uh, front facing custom cannon and a bunch of torpedoes. So let's go ahead and get this reset and get our first battle underway. And we're actually uh, switching things up a little bit. Um, this will be our uh, new third place king. This will be the tank rangers. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch up the leaderboard uh, just a little bit. We're going to have the Omega Nightmare is going to retain its position as current champion. And then we're going to put the Sword of Light by Zionics in third place. The or second place, excuse me. The Tank Rangers by Poldarn will be in third place. And then the uh, Triple Breakout uh, will be in fourth place. And then uh, depending on how well this uh, Peacock and Rage Master by Macbeth do, they will be uh, somewhere in here on the uh, leaderboard. Um, so just a, a small change I want to make you guys aware of. I uh, usually see the Iron Maid here in third place, but we went ahead and replaced the Iron Maid um, with the Tank Rangers as that is the uh, newest submission by Poldarn and uh, was able to beat uh, 
the old submission of the Iron Maid as well as the Truth of Christmas. So I do believe it uh, deserves to be here um, on their leaderboard um, a little bit more than the older design, the uh, Iron Maid. Oh, did I? Oh, I think I forgot to switch the teams. Are you two going to fight each other or are you going to be friends? Oh, they're going to be friends. I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Uh, I got distracted with the uh, bracket changes. So broadside C. Get things slowed down. And hopefully we can get this right this time. Alright. And the Peacock and Ranger Rancher by Macbeth are going to be going up against the Tank Ranger by Poldar. And this is a, a triple uh, entry three identical hovercraft with uh, very large custom cannons and a whole lot of front shielding so uh, we'll see how well they are able to fare against the entries by Macbeth let's get things sped up and get this battle underway it looks like the uh, tank rangers are firing some torpedoes and that wow that rage monster is so fast <laughs> Just uh, here, dropping its bombs, and just gone. It's like it is turning, going to stay uh, well within the uh, the uh, oh, the tournament range, the maximum distance. Coming in for another pass already, and uh, getting some shots in on the uh, tender backside of the tank rangers. The tank rangers do have some shielding. Um, most of the way around but uh, their heaviest shielding by far is in the front and they are keeping that shielding uh, pointed towards the peacock and oh is the peacock the peacock must be a submarine or is it has it already been destroyed maybe we missed the destruction I was too busy following the uh, Rage monster around. Let's get the interface on. Yeah, we can see the peacock. Yeah, no, I do believe this was intended as a surface craft, but uh, took some damage from the tank rangers there. Looks like it's making its way back to the surface. I don't know if it's going to be able to repair. You can see the uh, rage monster there in the distance continuing to uh, get in some effective uh, bombing runs. Yeah, it looks like the Peacock's all the way down to 74%. All the Tank Rangers 100% and the Rage Monster 100%. Looks like the Rage Monster is getting in some really good attack runs. Uh, looks like the bombs are well tuned to uh, drop right on the enemy. But unfortunately for the uh, Rage Monster, these uh, tank rangers just dump an incredible amount of flares. Each one of them is shooting uh, like somewhere around two flares per second. So uh, really um, effective defense against the infrared missiles. like these tank rangers are continuing to focus on the peacock. Looks like the P 
Peacock is damaged, but uh, its shielding is keeping it alive. All the way down to 70%. You can see the peacock is trying to recover and repair, but the uh, chip damage coming from those tank rangers is enough to just slowly work the uh, health down, all the way down to 65% uh, now. Whereas everything else is right around 100%. One of the tank rangers is taking a little bit of damage, but at 99%, uh, that's, that's nothing to really worry about. I'm surprised uh, some of these shots from the rage monster aren't being more effective. It is getting some uh, shots in with those custom cannons at the, uh, the backside here, the B zone if you will, where there is very little armor, or excuse me, very little shielding. And it looks like, yeah, it was able to damage this yellow ranger. This yellow ranger uh, dropped down in the water momentarily, but uh, looks like it was able to repair up and is now returning to normal operating elevations. Yeah, we can see the tank rangers are taking some damage. 97, 98. And uh, there we go. Looks like the peacock is finally AI dead. And with that, the tank rangers will turn their attention towards the rage monster. It'll be interesting to see uh, what effect this has. So far, the uh, rage monster able to completely avoid taking any damage. And uh, getting some good damage in on the uh, tank rangers. Able to uh, swoop around um, from behind or the sides and uh, get damage in uh, on the less shielded parts of the tank ranger. And it's very fast here. Um, it's going to be difficult for the uh, advanced custom cannons to track this uh, very mobile and fast enemy. This could possibly even go till time. I believe we've got about seven minutes left uh, before we hit overtime.
stalemate here. The uh, tank rangers as well as the remaining rage monster are all at 100% and uh, really neither side able to get any damage in. The missiles from the rage monster are getting entirely distracted uh, by the flares and its uh, shots from its advanced custom cannons are getting uh, deflected by the heavy shielding on the tank rangers and uh, likewise the tank rangers uh, advanced custom cannons simply aren't able to track the, uh, the very high speed rage monster so we're in a situation here where it looks like we're going to end up going till time uh, kind of a rare event here in the season two uh, so far the battles have been uh, for the most part very fast and it looks like this is our uh, our first first stalemate I uh, can't really fault uh, either side here just sort of the way it works out when you have a uh, wide open uh, possibility for enemies you can't really plan for every possibility You can see as the uh, uh, Rage Monster flies over, its cannons are some are they're, they're so large that they uh, they spin around just slowly enough that uh, right about the time they're spinning around, the uh, Tank Rangers are also spinning around and uh, able to uh, keep shielding towards the enemy. I think those turrets were just a tiny bit faster um, at, at spinning. The actual uh, traverse time was faster. They would be able to see right here, if it was able to shoot backwards, the uh, tank rangers uh, sides and um, rear, which have very little shielding, are facing the rage monster. But uh, unfortunately, in that uh, same time period, its turrets are, are struggling to spin around and uh, get some shots off. So not, not able to uh, capitalize on that little window where the tank rangers are vulnerable. Alright Jane, that is our uh, 15 minutes. I don't think there is any need for the uh, 5 minute overtime here as all the ships uh, remaining in play are at 100% and the only casualty is the Peacock. So unfortunately the first round goes to the Tank Ranger by Poldarn and we'll get this reset and get battle number 2 underway.
and we'll get things sped up, get battle number two underway. You can see that Rage Monster just instantly uh, kicking on the afterburners and getting out of dodge extremely fast. You can see the uh, Peacock dipping down into the water, uh, stabilizing on those hydrofoils. And it has uh, quite a bit of shielding, but it looks like uh, just that sheer volume of fire coming from the tank rangers are able are enough to uh, disable those shields and then uh, get some shells in on its uh, more vulnerable parts. Oh wow. And you see the, uh, the main turret there uh, already taken out. Looks like this could use um, maybe a little bit more uh, layering of the shields. Uh, it's well well covered. There's, there's no um, real exposed areas. But it looks like the uh, just the volume of shots um, coming from the tank rangers able to uh, disable that uh, single layer of shields and uh, get the damage in. It looks like this battle is going to go very much like the first as this uh, peacock is taken out early. Um, looks fairly tanky, able to... Um, absorb shots for a while here um, could potentially give the rage monster a chance to uh, get some critical hits in we have seen um, instances where one or two shells um, in an unshielded area will detonate the entire tank ranger and uh, just kind of what I was talking about with the layering of shields you can see here the front of the tank ranger just absolutely just smattered with shields. We've got them at uh, kind of all ranges and all different angles, and uh, just covering the entire front end here. So getting getting a shell in the front at the front of the tank ranger is almost impossible. But uh, as we've seen, if you can get a shot in at the side or rear, um, it is vulnerable to that sort of damage. Rage Monster doing its thing, uh, executing its attack runs. And as you can see, uh, able to get a couple hits in um, as it flies by, slowly chipping down the enemies. I don't think the damage is going to come fast enough, though. Um, once this uh, Peacock is finally AI dead, the uh, Tank Rangers will start tracking with the rage monster and uh, using those very powerful front shields to deflect um, its damage coming in. Let's get a quick damage report. See the peacock getting all the way down to 40%. It is almost certainly going to go AI dead uh, within a minute and we see only one of the tank rangers down to 99, the other two at 100%. So it looks like this battle is going to go uh, just like the last one and uh, the winner will be the tank ranger. We'll go ahead and uh, let this play out and uh, see if anything unexpected happens. Um, if not, we will be seeing the peacock and rage monster uh, move down to face... oh goodness, who are they facing? Um, it is the Oh, it's the Breakout. I don't see my notes, but uh, the uh, Breakout Trio, I believe, by uh oh, I didn't write it down. Well, well, that, that's who we will have in our next video, most likely, unless the Rage Monster is able to pull off something epic here and uh, get the win against these very tanky tank rangers. Looks like we are down one tank ranger, so indeed the uh, rage monster able to get enough damage in to 
disable one tank ranger so this time it's going to be the uh, rage monster against two tank rangers I still think this is going to be oh excuse me this is going to be a stalemate um, like we saw last time where uh, neither side really able to um, get any significant damage in and I wonder how many blocks How many blocks is the peacock? Looks like that Blue Ranger did take some damage there. Not enough to bring it down uh, near 100, but uh, some of those shots are definitely getting in. Let's see if we can get the block count here on. Oh, no. We are uh, coming out of degraded mode. We're starting to see the uh, shell trails now. You can see uh, all those shells coming in rapid fire, but uh, being deflected through the shields. Not really any getting um, into the hull of that blue tank ranger. Got about six, six minutes left here in this battle. It's going to be very close. We'll take a peek at the uh, how many hit points the Rage Monster has and uh, see um, if we need to go to an overtime. Right now it looks like we would consider the Tank Rangers at 66% as they have lost one of the Tank Rangers with the remaining two at 100%. And then the, uh, for the Fury, we'll have to take a look at its uh, block count to see if the, combined with the Peacock, if it's uh, above 66% or not. The Peacock was um, right around 2,200 blocks. And there we go. In the, uh, Rage Monster is 24, 32, so this is very close. So it would look like uh, that would put the Peacock and Rage Monster at a combined health of about 53%. So the uh, Rage Monster needs to get some damage in here on the Tank Rangers or uh, it will lose this battle and uh, move down to battle our current 4th uh, place king. So far, it doesn't look like that's going to happen.
All right, looks like we've got one more minute here. Alright, and that is time. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like the Peacock and Rage Monster by Macbeth are going to lose to our current third place king, the Tank Ranger by Poldarn. And uh, we'll see the uh, Peacock and Rage Monster in our next video. We're going to be taking on our current fourth, pla fourth place king, the uh, Breakout. Um, and that is by Carry On, that's right. So, uh, if you, a little bit of a uh, slower battle this time, um, than, uh, so far this season, but a little bit more exciting. Just kind of a, a bad style matchup here. Our, uh, next battle should be, uh, much more entertaining. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out and, uh, see some more battles here in From the Depths, go ahead and click on the next video.